Yarn over, pull through. Okay, we're gonna pull through. <laughs> okay, let's start over. Hey guys, it's Katie from Yarn Society. Today we're gonna learn how to make a slip knot and chain. Once you know how to do this technique, the possibilities in crochet are endless. Let's get started. Grab any type of yarn, leave a long tail on your yarn, wrap that yarn around two fingers, crisscrossing at the top. I'm gonna hold that yarn tail with my ring finger and then I'm gonna push the back piece of yarn to the front. Pull up on that piece of yarn and this will make your slip knot. Your tail is adjustable, so if you pull down on it, you can tighten it, and if you pull up on it, you can loosen that loop. At this point, grab any hook size, place your hook inside the loop, and then tighten that loop around your hook. You wanna get set up with your yarn, and what I like to do is wrap it around my pinky and then lay the yarn over top. Using my middle finger and my thumb, I hold my slip knot in place. In order to chain, you're gonna yarn over so grab that yarn with your hook and pull it through. Once I have one chain done, I adjust once again and I hold that V stitch, that first chain, with my middle and my thumb. We're gonna yarn over once again, hooking our yarn onto our hook and pulling it through. If your yarn gets a little unraveled, just get your hook back inside that loop. We're going to do that again by yarning over and pulling through. By like my second or third chain, I readjust again and I get closer to that stitch in my hook. Yarn over, pull through, and continue to yarn over and pull through for as many chains as your pattern says. Keep practicing and you will be a chaining pro in no time. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more crochet tutorials and crochet alongs. And don't forget to head over to yarnsociety.com for free crochet patterns.